This is a Huawei Watch GT3. I have two versions here at once, one big and one smaller, and if you met a guy somewhere on the streets of Kiev who has two couple of watches on his hands at once, then you know, maybe it's me. I'm preparing a new review. In this video, I decided to pay attention to how Huawei promotes its watch. And tell about your experience with exactly those moments on which the manufacturer is betting. So to speak, Huawei declares, and I try and check. So, the claimed autonomy of the watch is 14 and 7 days for the 46mm and 42mm versions, respectively. Personally, the battery characteristics that the manufacturer presents to us in numerical terms in milliampere hours, unfortunately, do not give me absolutely no understanding of the real autonomy of the watch. This is a minus. But then I'm mostly positive. The larger version with the name Elite I had connected to a Huawei smartphone and the smaller version was connected to an iPhone with a different Huawei account. And there and there I often started training. Of course, I spent more time with the larger version, for the simple reason that the metal strap on the small version barely fit on my hand and I simply had to press my finger in order to put the watch on my hand. On both versions of the watch, I used constant monitoring of oxygen levels, used smart pulse monitoring, monitored skin temperature, monitored sleep. Yes, I slept for two hours at the same time, if only a normal review would come out. And of course, I trained with both watches at the same time. It was jogging, general warm-ups and dumbbells. By the way, it's cool that this line of watches finally supports normal wireless charging, so I used one charger for both one and the second watch. This is very convenient in my case. Well, in general, they can be charged even from a phone or there from a power bank, or from a universal charger that you have at hand. Wireless, I mean. Let's make it clear about the dynamics. The dynamics here are quite loud, especially when you run down the street in silence in the morning and there are such watches Juventus Everge pace from. And so on. Do you understand? I'm talking about a smart voice assistant that accompanies your workout on the clock. Well, you understand. The assistant is, by the way, a cool feature in the key of the fact that some Huawei watches and bracelets have not only just workouts, but also running courses. By the way, as before, the bottom button opens the training menu. There are a lot of them here. You can customize them for yourself. Trainings, as I have already said, I will say again, are voiced by a voice assistant, this can be turned off. Also, some workouts can be detected automatically. To be honest, I don't trust this thing, it doesn't always work on time, let's just say, because it's better for me personally to run each workout with my own hand. Here are the very running courses and training plans, they are right on the clock. This is actually convenient, especially for those who are just starting out. Although, again, there are classes here for advanced athletes, for advanced runners in running courses here you can immediately see, by the way, yes, and the complexity of this training and the stages of which it consists. That is, according to the level, you can choose your own version. And there, in addition to choosing a program according to the level of your current training, you can also receive small, but very important tips at such moments. For example, to keep the correct posture, slightly tilt the body at a faster pace. The assistant can even remind you to keep your head straight, not slouch and, of course, keep a higher pace due to a higher cadence, well, in general, the frequency of steps. Of course, I have been in the pool with them, the watch can track swimming, can track style and can also monitor the pulse during swimming training. And in general, they keep the pressure up to 5 atmospheres. But, by the way, water jets and diving are not suitable for watches. So those who like to ride aboard, sorry, you can't take a watch like this with you. But after water training, the watch helps to blow water out of the speakers with the help of special sounds. My cheekbone cramped. I went a little to the side because of training. Let's go back to how I use the watch yet. My watch has always been in vibration mode. There are two vibration settings here, strong and weak, although in fact, I would call them long and short, so it would probably be more accurate. So, despite the power mode, I often missed notifications on small watches, perhaps because they just have a small case, 
not heavy enough and the vibration on it is not so well felt. As you understand, the speakers here are quite loud, but the sound on my watch and on my smartphone is always completely turned off. It even seems to me a sign of some bad taste. For example, should I put some Morgenstern on my call signal, I don't know, a watch or a smartphone, what do you think? Write about it in the comments. I'm interested in your opinion, how do you feel about this, when the phone rings at all in the office, it's not very pleasant. You can simply activate the vibration and always know about your important notifications. Even with vibration, in general, you almost never miss them. Well, there may be messages in the messenger, but it's not as scary as, for example, missing a call. And it's not as scary as if someone has the glory of Marlowe playing on the bell. On my watch, almost all possible notifications are activated in my usage scenario. There they can be disabled through the application, choose a filter like this for yourself. However, I very rarely used calls using a watch, because they have a speaker, they have a microphone, and, accordingly, they can be used as a Bluetooth headset. But it's not the watch's fault, it's my use case. I generally call very little. Who, in general, calls a lot now, in principle. Maybe sales representatives for work. To be honest, I hardly use the function of calls in my phone. Although I have no questions at all about the function of calls on my watch, no complaints, and those with whom I talk through the clock during the call, in general, in principle, did not notice any difference. For me, the signal quality and the quality of speech transmission also remained at a high level. When used on both Android and iPhone, in principle, it works equally well. You can turn up the volume right during the call, you can turn on or off the microphone or reset the call. Let's try to chat and listen to how it sounds. Well, if you want to evaluate the sound quality during the conversation, this is about how we hear the voice of the interlocutor and no one talking quite calm. As you understand, we hear the voice quite clear. The interlocutor hears you very well, too. А вот как будет слышать вас собеседник, собственно говоря, на том конце провода, если вы разговариваете при помощи данных часов, используя их в режиме гарнитуры. In general, I think you have roughly got an impression of what my scenario of using this watch was, because I told it all for a seed about the results about the autonomy of these watches of both these versions. And as a result, my results are as follows. With the most frantic workouts twice a day with and without GPS, the older version was discharged in 8 days. And the younger version, with approximately the same usage scenario, only with more modest loads. After about one day I trained in them, I was discharged. On the fifth day, there remained about a 7% charge level. Well, accordingly, if I had used the watch a little more modestly than I am doing now, then for sure they would have been able to last up to the stated 14 days, perhaps up to 12, so it seems to me more realistic after all in the case of the large version and up to 6 or 7 days in the case of the small version. And so here are 5 days and 8 days with such fairly high loads, really such intense workouts in the morning and evening. The funny thing is that all this autonomy of smartwatches, and someone will probably be found in the comments and say that it's more of a bracelet than a watch, although I disagree with him. So, this autonomy exists with a really smooth operation of the interface. If you have watched reviews of earlier versions of watches from the GT line, you probably know that their autonomy was achieved due to the fact that the refresh rate of the screen was reduced, but now they work smoothly and hold the battery perfectly. Reviews of older versions are also on my channel, be sure to look if you haven't seen them. The new GT3 work, by the way, on Harman Eco and indeed they have a smooth interface. Inside, as far as I understand, there is a processor of Huawei's own design hidden, and there are also 4 gigabytes of built-in storage and as much as 32 megabytes of RAM. And I don't know how, but again, the smoothness of the interface is just perfect. Are there any pitfalls in terms of functions? But I will say right away that there is. In this watch, unlike the cooler Huawei Watch 3, you will not find support and SIM. There is no Wi-Fi, only Bluetooth. Well, an important point of difference is that the top Watch 3 has an app store built right on the watch, but the GT version of the application can only be installed through the Huawei Health app on a smartphone. And even then, this cannot be done if we are talking about connecting the watch to the iPhone. Well, the installation is over. The two-week weather forecast app is already installed on my watch. In addition to the main weather app from Huawei.
And of course, like most watch apps, it works as a companion. That is, the main application must also be installed on the smartphone, from where this watch application will receive information. By the way, an interesting point. You can delete the application directly from the watch. It is not necessary to go to the application manager for this, well, or the EP gallery directly on your smartphone. This can also be done with a watch. The installation of applications is available, by the way, on the older version. Although on the other hand, the watch has an excellent starter kit of pre-installed applications, in principle, it has everything that, for example, I need. The weather is there, there are even phases of the moon and you can see the sunrise and sunset. There is even a barometer and an altimeter, and then in my recent review of the watch, I was slightly surprised that at the iron level, all this is here, and the application needs to be installed separately, and often these very applications are paid. But Huawei has it working out of the box and it works fine. For hours, for example, you can remotely take photos from your smartphone, at least if the smartphone is Huawei. Yes, the functions of users from other manufacturers are slightly infringed on, but in general, you can even throw music on the watch through the Huawei Music app. Let's just say it's not the most convenient option, but at least it works fine, and that's cool. Because wireless headphones are connected to the watch and you can only run outside with headphones and a watch. You don't have to take a smartphone for this. Going back to training with the clock outside. They have a dual band GPS installed, because, according to my observations, their training tracking is simply stunningly accurate. At least I have not had any discrepancies between my training sessions and the map for the entire time of use. Even the passage through the underpass or which side of the street I was moving on, the clock shows exactly I had no problems with them. Well, a cool feature that I showed in some detail in the review of Huawei Watch 3. This is the return route. This time I tried it in a really combat situation, because for some of my runs I ran to unfamiliar places. And so, when I reached about half of my planned route, I turned on the return route and it led me home. Of course, you need to warn that it only works in English. There are two options, you can choose a route in a straight line, that is, the shortest way to the return point, without taking into account streets, fences, and the like. That is, you will decide for yourself how you will get around it all, or the return route is really on your track. But I must say that even if you chose the second option, the watch does not go crazy when you cut corners and still just leads you in the right direction, unlike the same car navigators that do not have internet access. Even without the internet, the clock behaves normally in this regard, it just tells you the direction and how much distance is left before the next maneuver, for example, turning left or right. By the way, it is also possible to export your route to your smartphone. In this way, you can choose in the application after training, for example, somewhere in a new place to take it and save it in the format you need. As you understand, these formats can then be read using other programs, I don't know, we choose one. Let's keep it that way. A very important feature for athletes appeared in the new generation of GT watches. It is now possible to connect a chest heart rate monitor here. And, unfortunately, for objective reasons, I do not have such a heart rate monitor, I could not test this possibility. And if you are in Kiev and you suddenly have such a heart rate monitor to share with me for tests and for recording videos, then please do it. Write to me on Instagram in yandex.direct, and we will contact you somehow, we will agree, I am ready to pay for sending this heart rate monitor to me and back to you by new mail, because it's really interesting how it works. And by the way, there is one more topic that cannot be bypassed, although it is relevant for runners. On the watch GT3, it became possible to measure your running index. Well, in addition, there are several other important indicators, for example, recovery time after the current workout, the level of load and the level of 2 max be sure, by the way, subscribe to my channel if you haven't done it yet, because this video will have the second part, there I will tell you about everything else. In the meantime, check out my other reviews and throw your questions about the watch in the comments. Until new videos. You subscribe to my channel, you press the bell. You subscribe to my channel. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe to.